Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we would be seeing on how to install McPhee Policy Orchestrator. We call it as McPhee EPO. So I'm going to use Windows 2016 server and I have already downloaded the files and I'm kept in my desktop folder. So uh, you can see EPO installation files is there in my desktop. So I'm just going to install the SQL Express Edition in the first place and then I'll install the EPO 510 base installer and that's the update 9 which you are seeing. For this video we would be not covering how to install the updates, the EPO updates which are given on a periodic basis from McAfee. However, we would be seeing on how to install the base 510 installer and launch the McAfee policy console. Before that, so if you have a question on how to download the files, the ePolicy Orchestrator files, you can download it from this location, which is nothing but the McAfee product download site. You may need to have access to the grant number as well as the registered email address, which is provided to the customers from McAfee. Um, and I'm just starting the installation of SQL Express in here. So um, just clicking on the SQL Express installer, it extracts the files required for the installation and then it launches the installation window. So in the installation window, I'm just going to use the first option, new SQL standalone server installation. So I'm just going to click on it. This will take some time to install the prerequisites. So uh, let's accept the license agreement and then click on next. Over here, I'm just click on next in the next window. Again, uh, this will install the setup files. It may take uh, five minutes or less than five minutes, not more than that. SQL Server installation is quite pretty fast. So well, let's wait for some time. I'm pausing the video and then let's resume. So on the next page, you can just choose your own install directory if you would like to choose a spe specific drive in your server. I'm just going by the default options in here. And if you want to give a different name for your SQL Server instance, you can give a different name, but I'm not going to use a different name. Just going with the default ones, SQL Express. Maybe a later, at a later point of time, I may forget what instance name I have given for this particular server. So I'm just going to use the SQL Express itself. I'm just enabling automatic startup for the SQL browser service and then click on next. So over here, I'm just going to use a mixed mode authentication where you can see the SA account's password needs to be configured here. So I'm just going to enter a password for the SA account, which is nothing but a SQL administrator account. Let's click on next and this is the installation phase where it takes some time to get it completed. This is going to pause the video and then resume once it's completed. So here you see everything is in green and you have an install successful message. So you're good to go with the EBO installation. So SQL Express installation is done, all good. So let's go to the EPO installation files folder and start extracting the EPO 510 base installer folder, not the folder, the zip file. So once we extract, it becomes a folder. So I'm just going to extract it so that I can start the setup file inside the folder so that the EPO installation gets kickstarted. Let's wait for the extraction to get completed. And once it's complete, we are going to navigate inside the extracted folder and proceed with the EPO installation. So this is the setup file. So before proceeding with the setup, I'm just going to uh, show you something from the SQL configuration manager. That's something important. And if you miss, then you may end up with errors when you're configuring the ports or when you're trying to connect your EPO installation with the database. Here in this SQL configuration manager, you may need to navigate to the SQL server network configuration. And then inside protocols, you may have the TCP or IP, which you need to be, which you need to set it to be enabled. By default, it would be disabled. So now I've enabled it. Just enabling it won't work. I mean, uh, 
we need to restart the services the sql bro sql server browser service and the sql server sql express service so i'm just going to restart only these two services as you can see i'm just restarting it so that would be three services one is sql server browser and sql server which is nothing but the sql express service or the server service itself and the other one would be the sql server agent which is by default in a disabled state or a stopped state so we are not going to worry about it so just restarting two of these services are enough and sufficient once that is done we will start the epo installation where you can see i'm just running the setup file that's all to do so it starts the installation sure you will be seeing a mcfee epo ui this is the installation wizard and uh, just click on next because i don't have a db snapshot in um, when i'm going to install it because it's all new sql server so if you want to change any folder paths for mcfee epo installation folder you can change it in this page i'm just going with the default ones and here so it searches for the domain controllers my epo is already present in a domain i mean this server is already connected to a domain and uh, it's going to just verify those details in the back end and then uh, it searched for the databases and which means that for any sql server installation now what i'm doing is i'm just searching for my host name and then um, in the drop down list just going to go with host name slash sql express because that's the sql express is the instance name which i chose when i created the uh, database when i used to create not the database when i installed the instance so now i'm just selecting it and then entering my domain name and the username and the password you can you even use the sql authentication option in here and then you use the sa account password which we have given while installing the SQL Express. Anyone would do. Uh, you don't need to worry about which mode you need to use because in the SQL Express, we are already chosen to use mixed mode or mixed authentication mode. Using your Windows account, you can log into your uh, database or using your SA account, you can connect your database. So, so no worries. So the next place, uh, we'll just click on next. So this will now show us a pop-up where the mcfee epo pre-installation auditor window appears and it does the pre-installation audits this audits should be successful if it's throwing some errors for you you may need to search and then fix those errors or contact mcfee technical support where mcfee technical support can help you out in here so in the next place you have the configuration window for the port and the client i mean for the epo and the client machines communication port so that will be a mcfee agent installed on the client machines so if you want to change any ports you can change by default uh, those are the ports which you saw in a while i mean which you saw earlier so that's it with the ports i'm just going to stick with the default ports i'm entering uh, the epo consoles username and the password in this window and there should be a recovery passphrase which has to be set which is what i'm setting right now so once it is set uh, we would be uh, clicking on uh, next to proceed with the apu installation so let me enter the passphrases and then hit on next and uh, yeah the installation starts so let's wait for the installation to start up yeah, before that you may need to enter your license key information so once i have added these license key information it would start the installation this epo install would take a maximum of 20 to 30 minutes more than not more than that but it takes at least 20 or 30 minutes so i'm pausing the video and then i would resume it in a while yeah so here we are we have completed the installation now and i'm choosing launch mac v policy orchestrator window or the console and then click on finish it launches 
browser where you can see the Mac Feep your UI screen. I'm going to launch it in um, Chrome. So I'm just copying the URL over there and then going to paste it in Chrome browser because Chrome is my favorite. So let's open and then paste it in Chrome. So here we are. We are in the EPO login screen now. Let's check the login, the username and the password which we entered in the installation wizard. So here we are and we are successfully logged into the McPhee PO console. And this is how the console looks. You can uh, play around with the console and check what features are there. Uh, that's it for this video. I'll catch up with you in the next video. Please leave a comment if you like the video and thank you.